Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna show you the Smith & Wesson M&P 45. Now I'm gonna safety check it first because there's a few things I wanna show you about this gun before I even get into it. So first things first, you notice it's not black, it's not stainless, it's got a bronze slide. This one here did not come stock like this. Now they do make these bronze slide editions, but I had mine painted. So it's a little bit darker than normal, but I still wanted to show it to you because the original ones are a little lighter. The other thing that's different is this back strap right here. They are removable. You just turn this little knob right there, pull that out, and that'll remove. Now this goes to a 2.0. This is the 1.0 you notice because it doesn't say a two on there anywhere. Let me show you the two. See, model 2.0. So this is the 1.0. The texture is real smooth, like you can see right here. See how this is sandpapery? This is for the model two. So I do know, for, at least for this gun, that it will fit, the, the back strap fits in just fine. I've had no problems with that. Now, with all that said, let's get into it. This gun is really great. M&P stands for military and police. It makes a great target shooting pistol. And it's also really great, good for concealed carry. It's not the slim, it, oh, it actually is pretty slim, but it's not the smallest gun. You'd want, if I, you get a holster, I recommend one with a claw. So this pushes against your body because it is a, full-size grip, but otherwise the profile is so thin, it does adhere to your body very well. It's got a magazine release that's very positive, pushes in just fine. You can see it's a large button style and it is reversible. You can put it to the left side. The slide release is already reversible and this one here broke in really well. Let me show you. Normally I can't do this on the left side, but this one broke in really great. So I enjoy that. Disassembly on this gun is really straightforward. Pull the slide back. I like to drop the mag. Flip the switch downwards. That's all it'll let you go. Release the slide, pull the trigger, and it releases your components. Easy to disassemble, easy to clean. And putting it back together, just reverse your steps. Lock the slide back. Push that up. My finger hit it already. Otherwise, I would have let you see me do it. It's got a Picatinny rail, so it's ready for accessories. Now, the gun that I know to compare this to the best, just my experience, is the Glock 21. Glock 21, very similar gun. If you have one, I'd really like to know the differences that you know between the two of them. What I do know is the Glock holds 13 rounds. This one holds 10, but Smith does make a 13 round extended magazine. But if you have any other questions or want to know anything else, let me know. This is the M&P 45.